Hi everybody, Maurice Cooley, Director of Technical Operations here at Flymotion, and this is our new version of Flymotion Maverick. Let's get started by looking at our sound off signal lights. Four in powers here in the grill. We got our takedown lights here. These are tricolored lights, so we have the possibility of doing red, blue, amber, white, and of course, red, white. And as we walk around here to the side of the truck, we'll take a look at the running boards here. Again, in powers at the A pillar, in power at the C pillar. Visibility here on the, on the rear of the vehicle and this back window. And as we come around the back, of course, we got our lighting bar in the back. So now let's get to the business end of this vehicle and open up the tailgate, see what's inside. Look at that, beautiful. So what inspired this vehicle? We saw a huge demand from public safety to have a mobile drone command and control vehicle that's out in the fleet, ready to go when it needs to go. Here you can use this as your daily driver out of control or in fire rescue and the vehicle is ready to go. It's rapid deployment and it's quick and easy. So let's run through the features that we have in this vehicle. So at the top is our Harris radio. It is state of the art for 700, 800 megahertz band as well as LTE capable. Just below, air band radio. Here to the right we have our RJ45 network uh, hardwire connections, so LAN and WAN that are here. You've got three HDMI inputs just next door, and this is a 3000 watt inverter that powers the whole thing. We also have, uh, can run off of shore power, so you're able to plug into the truck, and there's an auto eject feature as well. That way if you forget to unplug, put it in drive, or start the car up, it's gonna kick out that cable for you. 120 volt outlets, two of those. You got DC charging for everybody's cell phone here, and that cigarette uh, style lighter thing that you plug in that we have no idea why it, why it really exists anymore. That's here as well, just in case you got something you wanna plug in. All right, storage, lots of storage. We got two identical drawers up here at the top for storage. This drawer at the bottom, foam inserts. We do foam, foam custom cut inserts that we can place in here. That way you don't need to worry about bringing your drone's case. You store it right in here in the foam insert the drone without the case, okay? Next. Very convenient pull-out tray. If you need to do any work, get any work done, laptop, get your drone configured and ready to go payload-wise. That can all happen right here on this pull-out table. Very convenient. So I mentioned those HDMI inputs. Where do they lead to? Haven't shown you any displays yet. That's because there's another thing here. One more compartment. Here we go. Just like that, you've got your 32 inch monitor that's ready to go here, as well as a multi-viewer, a uh, four by one multi-viewer. Um, that way you can have all of your feeds up here at the same time, okay? Scene lighting, very important. You see the red glow, it's coming from two empowers up here in the top of the tailgate. They're able to shine down. We can toggle between uh, white and red with those as well. Same with here, independently controlled. Scene awareness, you finish out a scene, you may need to clean up, make sure you're not forgetting anything. You flip these over to white, and all of a sudden now you're lit up in this area. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, we've made it to the inside of Maverick, and I'm thankful because we're here in Florida and it's hot, even in the winter. So first of all, I wanna focus in on the Havis console here in the center. If you didn't know better, you would be tricked into thinking that this was an OEM um, hot from the manufacturer console. It is not. It is the new Havis VSX series console, which is leaps and bounds better than the VS series, the old VS series that we're all probably used to and familiar with. So featured in this console, you got a lot of charging options, a lot of nooks and crannies for storage, USB-C, USB-A here all over the place. 12 volt DC charging, 120 volt outlet there to plug in your laptop or whatever you need. Here we've got a Streamlight cradle that's featured uh, in the console as well. Just up front here we have the control unit for our sound off signal uh, blueprint system here. You can see here, completely customizable. We're able to program that anyway in any fashion that you want, of course. Jumping down, we have the state-of-the-art Harris radio head. I showed you the one in the back that was identical. Both of these are linked to a singular module, control module node that's just under the console. 
dual cup holders, of course, but I really, really like this, uh, this console. And of course, you can't have the console without the laptop cradle. So uh, that, that's a standard feature. Up above, we've got the, of course, the dome light. We are able to toggle between red and white. Very useful. And that's the inside of Maverick. So as you can imagine, that was a lot to see, right? Flymotion Maverick is completely customizable from the chassis selection to all of the features on the inside of the vehicle. I challenge you, let me know in the comments which features you love the most. And keep an eye out, we've got more videos, more content coming all the time here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and most importantly, smash the notification bell so that you're notified as soon as the videos drop. Till the next one, take care.